basically what we're going to do is, again, we see rational powers. You guys could convert this again, like I already showed you before. But hopefully, um, Ryan, you already understand that the square root or something raised to the 1 half power is the same thing as raising something to the square root, right, Hunter? So what I'm just simply going to do is just raise this to the second power. Because by using the power rule again, when I have an exponent raised to a power, I multiply the exponent. I multiply the powers. Therefore, 1 half times 2 is just 1. So therefore, I'm just left with the equation 7 minus x equals 2x plus 13. Well, now I can just go ahead and solve. I mean, now this is just a linear equation, right? Where I have variable on the left side, variable on the right side. Get the variables on the same side. So I'll add an x. Add an x. 7 equals 3x plus 13. Subtract 13. Subtract 13. And I get negative uh, 6 equals 3x. Divide by 3. Divide by 3. Negative 2 equals x. Now, again, to check your answer, though, it might be a little bit difficult to think of your answer with these, fraction, with these rational powers, right? So why don't we just rewrite them as square roots? Square root of 7 minus x equals the square root of 2x plus 13. Is everybody, again, OK with me rewriting these rational powers as square roots? So I'm going to test my answers. I got to check my answers, OK? So by checking my answers, all I'm simply going to do is plug in negative 2. So let's see what we get. 7 minus negative 2 is going to be 7 plus 2, which is the same thing as 9. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. 13 plus negative 4 is 9. So therefore, it's verified. There is no extraneous solution. Okay.